In the past, Honda made some of the most exciting and innovative and awesome motorcycles. Starting back with the CBR 900 double R, and then of course the CBR 1000 double R, and then you had the CBR 600 double R back in the day, and they, they won the shootouts back in the day. Everybody bought Hondas back then. In this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why Honda makes some of the most boring motorcycles now and why I won't buy one. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Kudos to Yamaha for coming out with some of the most innovative, awesome, cutting edge motorcycles man like this 2019 yz 450 fx custom supermoto that i made uh this is not a street legal bike in most states but here in ohio i made it street legal and i tell you guys this is cutting edge you can tune this bike with the smartphone awesome does honda have anything like that no because they're used to making boring bikes now <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why but regardless of what bike you ride make sure you're wearing the gear out there and I have some awesome gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe my jacket pants boots gloves all my gear I include links in the description and comment section of my videos you know I used to be a Honda fanboy back in the day you know I had the CBR 250R the CBR 600 double R and then the CBR 1000 double R. I was repping CBR Honda all the time back in the day, man. But then Honda just kind of faded out, man. I love Yamaha and this bike is awesome. Awesome, baby. Yeah. Love it. Supermoto life, baby. Repping that supermoto life all day, every day. And, uh, I mean, Yamaha's got some of the sickest bikes. I mean, they, like I said, you got the Yamaha uh, MT-09, MT-10, MT-07. They're all high, the whole MT series is our highly popular bikes. And uh, they're always coming out with new cutting-edge cool bikes. But Honda, yeah, they got a few cool bikes here and there, man, but nothing really spectacular. And uh, I'll tell you guys that the number one reason that Hondas are boring now is the looks of their bikes. None of them are really exciting. They're all kind of boring looking or ugly looking, man. Uh, the, the new CB1000R, a uh, black edition, I think that looks cool. But a lot of their other bikes, I think the Honda Africa Twin looks pretty cool if you like adventure bikes. But for the most part, their other bikes are just plain. There's, there's nothing fancy about them. Nothing good looking, nothing saying, hey man, I got to get that bike. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I know a lot of you guys are saying, you know, looks are subjective, cycle cruiser. Well, you know, I think your bike is ugly or all the bikes you have are ugly. Or, and that's fine. That's not, the, that's not a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Looks are not, this really shouldn't be number one. But for the most part, most of us are gravitated by the looks of a bike at first. Uh, and then, of course, number two. The reason why Hondas are boring is their performance. They don't make the cutting edge super powerful. There's nothing exciting about their, the performance of their bikes anymore. I mean, there's, they, they become the vanilla company. There's nothing, you know, I, like I said, power is overrated really out here on the streets. You know what I'm saying? The most fun I have is on this 450. Don't get me wrong, guys. But this bike's got a ton of torque. None of their bikes, I can say, has, has ground stomping torque. Uh, really, except for their old bikes, like their old Honda Cruiser Magnum or whatever they call it. I mean, these newer bikes, they don't, they're just kind of bland. There's nothing exciting about them. Nothing. I, I don't even look at Hondas really anymore, except for that CB1000R. I thought it looked really cool. And that was the only reason I like it is because of the looks of that bike. The performance is, is, is blah. There's, I mean, it's just, it's okay. There's nothing special about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a lot of torque, bottom end torque. That's the main reason why I didn't get that bike. But the, the new Honda CB1000 Triple R, they did bump some power. That thing's got like over 200 horsepower and everything. Yeah, it's got some performance and everything, and but it's ugly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, but I, I'm talking about overall, they're all their bike, not just one or two bikes. Overall, 
their bikes are just there's nothing special about their bikes you know what I'm saying really there's there's nothing except for reliability I will say they make some of the most reliable bikes I was gonna bust the wheelie but I don't want to I don't want to <laughs> bother folks over here maybe I'll bust the wheelie right here yeah baby we out here we out here baby uh, but anyways number three there's no new there's no new exciting motorcycles you notice that nothing new exciting Yamaha is always coming out with something really exciting and new or fresh uh, like I said the whole MT series MT-03, MT-07, MT-09, MT-10 I mean you got exciting bikes with Yamaha well, Honda there's nothing new fresh and innovative except for that Honda CRF 450L I have to give them credit on but that's been out a few years now they're the only Japanese manufacturer to come out with a street legal dirt bike and I have to give them props for that that was awesome they listened to us and that's what we wanted and they gave it to us yeah baby yeah baby hey look at us that's a new Bronco Sport what is exciting about their bikes they're, what new models have they come out with and you've been like man I gotta get that bike the Honda Africa Twin was exciting when they came out with that but how old is that bike now you know what I'm saying like CRI 450L has been out a few years now they're not staying current and, and, and updating their bikes and making them you know super exciting or beautiful or something cutting edge to them there's nothing cutting edge or they're like I said they become the vanilla company of the uh the manufacturer the japanese manufacturers we can uh, leave a comment guys what is exciting tell me something new and exciting that came out from honda tell me tell me i mean kawasaki has come out with some exciting new bike i mean the h2 the zh2 um they got this new k they listened to us like cycle cruise and said they came out with an actual supermoto the klx 300 supermoto and dual sport they updated made it more current uh, I think that's awesome. There's only two companies that make supermotos is uh, of the Japanese manufacturers and that's Suzuki with the older now super old DRZ 400 and of course now Kawasaki with the KLX 300. But that brings me to number four reason why Honda's boring. Honda doesn't make a supermoto. <laughs> I mean why can't these people make a supermoto man? I mean come on. Suzuki has one like say uh, Kawasaki has one. Check this out. We got some real horsepower action here dang she looked pretty good look at that check it out we got some horse action up in here damn she looked beautiful wow cool nice oh man this is one of the few towns here in Berea Ohio where you could actually ride your horse around in town which is awesome I love it here that's why you see a lot of my videos here this is my old hometown here and uh, I love it out here, man. Good people out here, hometown, small town, ride horses here. We got the college here. But anyways, getting back to supermotos. Honda, build a supermoto, please. Make your company exciting again like it used to be back in the day. I used to rep Honda all the time. My brother rode Hondas, man. They were amazing back in the day. You had... Like I said, the, 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 they had one of the most powerful cruises back in the day with that Honda, what's it called, Magnum or whatever. Um, the CBR lineup was awesome back then. Yeah, baby. We out here. <laughs> but anyways, let me, let me take it to number five. Number five is price. Yeah, baby. We out here, baby. We out here. <laughs> Honda's price is boring. <laughs> they make some of the most expensive. Their bike, their prices are higher for the most part. 
compared to the other Japanese manufacturers and you don't get much more for it. Yes, Honda makes some of the most reliable motorcycles. I would rate them in terms of reliability as number one. Yamaha and Honda are the best in terms of reliability. Build quality, Honda all day. So you get a great build bike, a reliable bike that's going to keep you riding and not fixing nothing. And But their prices, like I said, are higher than all. I mean, come on. If you're going to charge them high prices, and it's not ridiculously high, don't get me wrong. What am I getting for that? all that extra price? They're not faster than the other uh, Japanese brands of bikes. They don't have you know any other cutting edge performance over the other Japanese bikes. You know what I'm saying? All the Japanese bikes are reliable. So, so tell me, why am I paying this high price? I don't know, man. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Share your opinion. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. That's why I do these videos to incite community discussion. And, um, you know, I hope Honda makes a strong comeback. Don't get me wrong. They're, they they win at MotoGP almost every year, man. <laughs> Yamaha and Honda. Usually, Mark Marquez is... I don't think anybody can beat Mark Marquez. He's a beast, man. I, in my opinion, I think he's better than Valentino Rossi. And I know so I'm going to get some haters with that one. <laughs> um... So you know, yes, Honda wins the MotoGPs. They got the fastest. They got the fastest rider. Um, I think it's more about the rider than it is the bikes, to be honest with you. But their bikes are cutting edge. But anyways, make sure to hit thumbs up. It helps my channel. Hit, uh, subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. Make sure to share this video. I want to get more people's opinions and stuff in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, also, make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>